Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, cancer and osteoporosis physical therapist. And today we're talking about the very important topic of how to lift things safely and correctly. And what does a hip hinge look like when all of the online sites say you need to hinge at your hips? How do you do that? And how does it translate to what you do every day? And I'm talking about picking up your small animal, your dog or cat. Maybe you're having to lift dog food, cat litter, laundry detergent, potting soil, laundry basket. We lift on a regular basis our groceries, our food, the things that we love and enjoy, including our grandchildren. So if we want to feel confident and secure and lifting correctly, here are some tips for you. Okay, so if we're going to be lifting something like a bag of kitty litter or a backpack, we have to be able to bend at the hips and knees and have enough mobility in the knee joint and the hip joint to get there with a straight back. And one of the ways we teach this is using a stick. Now everybody should have some sort of broomstick in their house and that will work perfectly where you can take that stick behind your back, put your hand in the small of your back so that the stick is in contact with your hips. The stick should be in contact with your upper back and then tuck your head back so if you don't have a big hunch, hopefully this head can also be in contact with the stick. If your head is not because of too much tightness, don't worry. We want to make sure the hips and the upper back are. So as you bend forward at the hips, the hips are reaching back. As my shoulders reach forward, I'm only bending at the hip joint versus if I begin to bend at my back, the stick comes away from my upper back. So that is a great way to teach yourself, holding the stick in the small of your back, to bend in a hip hinging motion. And I'm going to tell you a secret. A hip hinge and a deadlift are the same thing. So anyone who says you can't deadlift, it's not safe, is telling you that the one safe movement for lifting is not safe. It makes no sense. We have to be able to do this hip hinge and we have to be able to strengthen it under load in order to lift what we need to lift safely. Now, if you're not having to lift your body weight in a deadlift or hip hinge, then you don't need to train that way. But if you have a grandchild you wanna lift that's maybe 20 or 30 pounds, then with correct guidance, you wanna start small and build up to being able to hinge at the waist and deadlift that weight correctly. And so what we just did, that hip hinge, grabbing the weight, pressing up, and that's how in Brick House Bones, we begin to strengthen that back body, the hips, the hamstrings, and the spine to lift correctly so we don't get hurt. If you want support, check out the links below check out Brick House Bones where we include those types of exercises in our programming, the exercises we know are evidence-based to protect us from fractures, make us more resilient and robust to do the things we love. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I would really love to know if anyone has explained hip hinging and deadlifts like that to you before. If so, write a comment down below, share your experience with me, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this video. Others just like you are looking for this kind of information.